In this lesson, I will discuss to you about the domain and range of exponential functions. And this is actually week 6, day 3 of our lesson in general mathematics. As I recall, the domain of a function is the set of input or x values for which the function is defined. The range, on the other hand, is the set of all the output or y values that the function takes. Therefore, in a set of ordered pair, the first value belongs to the set of input, and that's the domain. The second value belongs to the range. Now, in an exponential function, the domain is the set of real numbers. Therefore, the value of the domain can be a counting number, an integer, a rational number, or even an irrational number because they are all subsets of real numbers. So in symbols, you can have it this way from negative infinity to positive infinity or the set of all x's where x is an element of real numbers. This is always the domain of an exponential function because this is one of the properties of exponential function. Its range is the set of positive real numbers. However, the set of positive real numbers as the range of exponential functions belong only to functions with no shiftings, specifically with no horizontal shiftings. Later on, I will discuss it. Let's illustrate. Our given function is f of x equals 2 to the power of x. So let's construct first a table of values. To find the value of the function at these numbers, you only have to evaluate the function. So, for instance, if x equals negative 3, substitute negative 3 to x. 2 to the power of negative 3, according to the laws of exponent, will be like this. 1 over 2 cubed. So, this expression will be placed in the denominator and the numerator is 1. And the exponent becomes positive. Now, 1 over 2 cubed is 1 8. That's why we have there 1 8. If x is negative 2, 2 to the power of negative 2, according to the laws of exponent, we have 1 fourth. When x equals negative 1, so 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 half. And then if x is 0, so 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Remember, any number raised to an exponent of 0 is always equal to 1. Next, when x is 1, that is, the function is 2. When x is equal to 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And finally, when x is equal to 3, 2 cubed is actually 8. We have just completed our table of values, but actually you can extend these values to whatever values that you want. I just limit it from negative 3 to positive 3 so that we can save space and time as well. Now, using this table of values, we will draw its graph. And as for me, I just use a graphing software para nindot kayo ang yang permano. So, when x is equal to negative 3 here at point A, y is 1 8. The ordered pair negative 2 and 1 fourth is at B. The ordered pair negative 1 and 1 half is at point C. Then 0, 1 is at point D. As you can see, the graph crosses the y-axis at point 1. And then at point E is the ordered pair 1, 2. At point F is the ordered pair 2, 4. And at point G is the ordered pair 3, 8. The domain is the set of all real numbers. Delete mo marong aning domain no? It's because this is a property of exponential function. It's always the set of real numbers. The range, as you can see from our table of values and from our graph, if you will add more negative numbers here, the graph gets getting closer to zero. However, it does not touch on it. And if you will add more positive numbers, its values becomes larger as well. Therefore, the range is from 0 to positive infinity. Let's have another example. f of x equals 1 half to the power of x. Construct a table of values and then evaluate 
the values at specified values in the domain so as for me i used again from negative 3 to positive 3 now let's try why is this 8 if we evaluate the function at negative 3 one half to an exponent of negative 3 will become 8 and if this is 0 if x is 0 one half to an exponent of 0 is always equal to 1 when x is 3 one half raised to an exponent of 3 is equivalent to 1 8 the ordered pairs here in our table of values is illustrated here in our graph so at point a we have the first ordered pair at point b we have negative 2 and 4 at point c we have negative 1 and 2 at point d we have 0 and 1 the graph crosses at this point and then at point e we have 1 and 1 half at point f we have 2 and 1 fourth and at at point G, we have 3 and 1 8. As the values of X becomes larger, the values of Y becomes smaller. And in our graph, as the values of X becomes larger, the graph keeps getting closer to the value Y equals 0. Therefore, the domain is the set of all real numbers, while our range is from 0 to positive infinity. Let's have another example of exponential functions. However, there is already a shifting. Particularly, this is an example of an exponential function with horizontal shiftings. Construct first the table of values and then plot it on the plane. And this is what the graph looks like. If x is negative 3, so 2 to the power of negative 3 is 1, 8. And then minus 2, that is negative 1.875 when x is 1 2 to the power of 1 is 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0 that's why we have the ordered pair 1 0 and it is here 1 0 when x is 0 so 2 to the power of 0 is 1 minus 2 is negative 1 so we have the ordered pair 0 negative 1 as you can see the graph crosses both the x-axis here and the y axis if you will add more integers here particularly positive integers the values of y increases if you add more negative values here the values of y approaches to negative 2 therefore our domain again is the set of all real numbers well the range starts from negative 2 to positive infinity so this is our asymptote as well in our next lesson i will discuss more about asymptotes of exponential functions so mo nang hint ninyo sa range no basta nagali sumpay diri nga number number nga dili exponent but another expression parehas ani diri magsugod ang ato ang range like this another example Function given is f of x equals 2 to an exponent of x and then plus 1. So expect that the graph will be shifted one unit upward like this. Let's try to check now. When x is 3, 2 cubed is 8 plus 1. That's why the value of y is 9. So at point 3, the value of y is at 9. We have here point g. So you can calculate, you can check this one using your calculator there, or you may perform calculation without calculator at all. The domain is the set of all real numbers. What about the range? If you will add more negative numbers here, the value of y approaches to 1, keeps getting closer to 1. However, it does not touch on that particular value. And if the values of x increases the value of y also increases therefore our range starts from 1 to positive infinity and in our drawing in the graph that we have here below this is also our asymptote identifying the domain and range of exponential functions is just easy for the domain it's always the set of 
real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity for the range if the function has no shiftings its range is always from zero to positive infinity however if na siya shifting like horizontal shiftings unsa ihang sumpay ana sad magsugod ang iyahang range so in our next lesson i will discuss to you about intercepts zeros and asymptotes of exponential functions see you there